My name's Lydia Lucy and I am so excited to be vlogging for you today. This is my first ever vlog, so don't judge. But um, as most of you know, I am from The Voice UK. I came third on Team Will. And I'm so grateful eternally to Will for actually taking me on a journey past The Voice, you know, taking me on tour with him and, you know, doing gigs with the Black Eyed Peas and stuff. So it's been absolutely amazing for me. But I am here to vlog about The Voice UK on ITV 2018 and I am super excited. So let me just start off about last night's show. How amazing was the coaches song? I'm feeling good. They was definitely feeling good. But can I just say, I am never ever surprised at Jennifer Hudson. What a voice. It absolutely gets to me every time. I just think she's so amazing. And um, I love her. I didn't realize I loved her till I've actually started watching her on The Voice last year and this year. But um, I think she's absolutely incredible and I love her personality. I just think she's a great person and I'd like to be her friend actually. So call me. No, um, so yes, moving on. I'm very excited to see Oli Mers on the coach panel. I think that he's gonna be a great addition. You know, he's a fresh face, he's a young bundle of fun, and I think he's gonna bring a bit of comedy along to the show. So let's see what he brings. Obviously, do I need to say about Tom Jones, what a legend, say no more, absolutely outstanding. And not forgetting William himself, Mr. Will I Am, what an amazing coach and an amazing person. So shout out to all the coaches. Now, let's move on to the contestants. Firstly, I just wanna say I know exactly how all of them must be feeling, stepping out onto that stage, knowing that it's gonna be aired to literally millions of people. What a feeling that must feel. If any, if any of you viewers can see out there, you know, it's like a ball in your stomach that you're just excited, but you're nervous and you're just like, Oh, I just want somebody to turn so I know exactly how they're all feeling and obviously the nerves get the better of some people But I think that last night's show everybody did pretty amazing So I'm gonna go through the contestants now. I think Jake the first one on what a unique tone I love the connection that he had with Jennifer I think that they're gonna work really really well together and the song that he chose issues is one of my favorite songs at the moment So good one Jake Right Chloe who obviously went with Tom Jones. I think this was a match made in heaven. And um, she's obviously very talented. You know, I've always admired people that can play an instrument and sing at the same time. I think it's an absolutely incredible talent. And um, I think her and Tom are gonna work really, really well together. So, good luck, Chloe. Lauren, wow. All I've written is, I love her tone. One of my favorites from last night's show, definitely. Her stage presence was just there. She just had this great aura about herself and I just loved every minute of her performance. And I loved every minute of her VT, everything. I thought that she was brilliant. And um, it's the first four turner of the whole series. How amazing must she feel? Um, and obviously she's paired with Molly Murs, so good luck, Lauren. Now, Niall and Jimmy, I'm absolutely gutted for the both of, both of them. Obviously they didn't get a turn, but um, I hope that they don't give up trying. And for me, Jimmy, I was very surprised he didn't get a turn. He reminded me, his last notes in the song reminded me of like a Frankie Valley. And I just felt like he had so much range that he definitely should have, he definitely should have got a turn. I think the coaches was definitely regretting it, but you know, I hope he doesn't give up and I hope Niall doesn't give up either. They both gave an amazing performance and well done to both of them. So then out come Jennifer Hudson with a collection plate singing well, I don't like <laughs> living under your spotlight. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd throw that in there. But, um, you know, the way she just gets up during these shows, you know, while she's coaching, while she's actually waiting to coach people and waiting to turn her chair, I think it's amazing that she's showcasing her talent. You know, she's showing us all. She's a singer. She started in the same place. She was doing a talent show. And, um, and I think it's brilliant that she gets up and sings and she shows the audience and she interacts with them. I think it's really nice. But um, if I'd have been there, Jennifer, I'd have put a tenner in your collection plate. <laughs> uh, moving on, we had Jason. Well, who couldn't love Jason? What an amazing riffer. His runs in his voice. I was like, oh my goodness. But um, all I've written is so sick and he took us all to church. Yes, he did. Um, so, the lovely couple, right, 
they had lovely harmonies at times, but I could tell they was very, very nervous. And um, I think it's so lovely that they're a couple and that they're, they're actually singing together on stage. They've actually worked together to perform in front of the world, basically. Um, because it goes international on YouTube, obviously, they get so many views. But um, I did feel a bit sorry for them because I could, I could feel their nerves from the TV. But um, I'm glad that they're working with Ollie. I think that they're going to have a great chance with him because... Obviously, Ollie's been there. He's done it. He's got the T-shirt. They're gonna work well together. He's gonna sort of rub off a bit of his confidence on him, I think. And I think that they're gonna they're gonna do good. And um, then we had Tom and Jennifer's duet, "Never Love a Man," and wow, two legends together. Really, what can I say? Um, I love, as I said earlier, I love watching Jennifer just getting up and singing, just saying, "Band, give me a song and I'll sing it." And obviously, Tom joined in. I think the other coaches, Ollie and Will, was just like, what about us? But they didn't get a look in, so I loved it anyway. And the last performer of the night, Darnell. Well, it's clear to see that Will obviously loved him. Um, he had a great energy. I loved his charismatic performance. And, well, what can I say? His granny, she smashed it. She, she actually stole the show from Darnell, but obviously he was brilliant. I loved the way that he was unique and he sung in a different language and I just thought it was really energetic and it really lifted the end of the show. And um thoroughly enjoyed the whole show and I look forward to watching next week. So make sure you tune in and um, I will see you all next week for another vlog. Thank you all for watching, see you later.